So today we're gonna make over this $15 thrift store find. I love the shape. The paint job is okay, but there's lots of nicks. Vanna White is displaying it for you. Watch we're out. gonna give you an anthropology look for less today. The anthropology dresser was $998. It was gorgeous. I love the black, the white, the floral, but I knew we could do it for less. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to remove the hardware, not because I feel like you have to remove it to paint, but just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna give it a new look. I know I'm not gonna want it to be black, which is the first color we're starting with. Now that we have it all ready to be clean, I'm just going to use my Mr. and my Dawn Power Wash. It's actually not Dawn. I use our Citrus Solve, I think that's what it's called, and I mix it up with water in here. Just, just a really good Mr. bottle that helps me clean things off. You always want to degrease your piece. And make sure you remove all the cleaner. You don't want any residue. So I'll come with another, I'll rinse this out after I wipe it down and wipe it down one more time and dry it off. Somebody came in the shop and actually decided to open this can. So I can't sell it, but I can use it for today's video. Little Black Dress by DIY Paint is gonna be the perfect base coat for the look I'm going for. DIY Paint is all natural and water-based and it goes on just about anything. To purchase the paint and products that you see us use here today, visit jamierayvintage.com. to stencil the front of this to look like the anthropology inspiration piece but when I'm working with black pieces I like to seal them a certain way so they get nice and dark and there's no like filmy stuff so I'm going to seal this first then I'm going to stencil it I know that's a little backwards but it'll make sense my favorite hack when sealing black things is to use a top coat like final finishes or um, DIY big top and then just put a little bit of the black paint in there to make a black tinted sealer you can measure it out or just be brave and just add a little bit. So mostly it's sealer with a little bit of black paint in there. I'm going to stir that up. One of the reasons that this does work is because it's a water-based sealer with a water-based paint. You can't mix oil-based and water-based. I'm going to go ahead. I'll probably wind up doing about two coats of sealer on here and it's going to get nice and dark black. You can also do this with any dark paint. If you want to make sure your sealer winds up nice and clear and you don't want any film. Have you ever painted something dark and you had like a weird looking cloudy film on it? This kind of helps prevent that. It is important to note that now that I've sealed it, I won't be able to blend the paint, which I'm not blending this project, so works great. Okay, so on the inspiration piece, you can see the knobs are white with like a gold outline. I'm going to paint these white, and when I'm all done, I'll decide if I want to add a little bit of gold just around the edge. We're going to use cottage color because that's what we're going to stencil with. For painting knobs, I just like to use a small brush. It's a lot easier than trying to use a big clunky brush. You use a lot less paint. It'll take about two coats, and I don't have to prime it, and it already has a built-in sealer, so we'll be good to go. I let it dry and then anywhere that I need to touch up, I can touch up on the second coat. All right, so Zeb has come in to help me. We have the Flochlorico stencil. We're using cottage color and white linen because we've already sealed this. So once he stencils it, then we'll be done. Offload your brush. Make sure you get most of the paint off. You don't want your brush to be too wet. So he's offloading over here. And, and then he's going to stencil over here. Look, I've lined the knob up perfectly with this little uh, flower here. So. It's also the middle of the stencil. I know it's working out really well. So he's using the JRV Flochlorico stencil and the JRV half inch stencil brush. Having the right stencil and the right brush makes a huge difference. You can pick up these products at jamierayvintage.com. Shameless plug. <laughs> Let's see if I got a halo. I may or may not have shifted a little bit. 
Oh, it looks I can, good. I think I can live with that. No, I like it. All right, let's now get um, this door stenciled. Okay. That was smart. He took the door off. I like that because this is round, so you can't like lay it on its back. And I was trying to figure out how to do it. And he was actually, can you see he's all wet? He's been working on irrigation. I text him. I'm like, please just come stencil this for me. So I needed a break and a snack. So it was perfect oh, timing. All right. Perfect. So we're going to do the same thing to the door. The Flochlorico stencil actually happens to fit perfectly. So we're just going to use it without having to repeat it. So he's offloading here and then stenciling here. With the cottage colors, you do have to do like a few coats because it's not as thick as the DIY, but it does have the built-in sealer. So as soon as we're done stenciling, we're done with the piece. I think we're ready to show the big reveal. Let's see if I shifted because I didn't tape it down. Ta-da! Oh look, minimal shifting, we're good. You did awesome. Okay, so next up I'm gonna use golden ticket and we're just gonna put a little bit of gold patina around the edge. All right, so I'm just going just around the edge on this so it matches the inspiration piece. I feel like we're right back where we started. We are right back where we started, but this piece was $15 at the thrift store. It got an anthropology inspired makeover and hopefully you learned some tips on stenciling and painting black furniture. Yeah, the stencil was pretty easy. I mean, I did the hard part, so, you know. <laughs> Actually, the paint job's really nice on here. I am shocked Jamie's not distressing it. I figure it will, like, the nature of paint is it'll slightly get chippy and worn over time, but I'll just let that happen on its own. If you want the paint products, you can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com. I will drop the links in the description. If you like this video and you feel like you learned something, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, you guys. So Zeb has been tearing up the yard. Um, it's for a good purpose. We're putting more water conscious irrigation and it's gonna be on a timer and with Wi-Fi, it's gonna make our job a lot easier, but it's been kind of muddy, so. But I need your help. Can you get that dresser so we can put it in the shop? Oh, it's about to get wet. Bring it in in the shop. I gotta take it from here, he's all muddy. Thanks for the delivery though. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I'll be back once I'm done editing to help you in that mud pile. All right, I found a spot for the nightstand. I think it's gonna look cute in here. Comment below. Do you think we did good at trying to make an anthropology knockoff?